they've been asking for years. Now they're not asking. They're telling the officials that they want the Red Hill facility to be shut down. The local activist group Putehi Latexan Save Vertidian held a peaceful protest at Adaloop on Tuesday in response to the ongoing Red Hill water crisis in Hawaii. The U.S. Navy's bulk underground fuel reserve ruptured in early December, contaminating Oahu's primary drinking water supply, poisoning thousands of people. The aquifer supplies water to 400,000 residents and visitors. PLSR's Maria Hernandez. We decided to come out to show solidarity with all those who have been affected. There, the, there are so many people who are reporting health impacts. Several community members came together for chanting and song, followed by an art demonstration. Hernandez said they stand in solidarity with Hawaii, urging the Biden administration to put an end to Red Hill. They've been kind of sounding the alarm for years uh, before this fuel leak happened. Officials were telling them that, you know, there's nothing to be concerned about. But fast forward now, and the storage facility, which holds up to 250 million gallons of fuel, has now had two major fuel leaks this year alone. However, military officials told lawmakers that the recent contamination was due to a jet fuel spill near the facility. More than 4,000 people have been affected, while thousands have been displaced. Twelve elementary schools have reported students getting sick due to the contamination. The reason why the fuel facility is still there is because they're being told that it's for national security purposes. She says there's no security until we have clean water. Guam faces similar threats with the construction of the U.S. Marine Live Fire Training Range Complex being built above the northern aquifer lens, which provides 80 to 90 percent of the island's drinking water. 6.7 million bullets are proposed to be shot above our main, main water source with the establishment of the Live Fire Training Range Complex. In addition to that, the uh, Navy's own environmental studies have stated that the overpumping of the aquifer uh, will result in saltwater intrusion into our aquifer. But despite three resolutions that call attention to the threats, the plans to build the range are still moving forward. There are so many communities, indigenous communities, that are uh, really fighting to protect their main water sources in Okinawa, uh, Native American communities in the continental United States. Um, you know, there are fuel pipelines that are putting their water sources at risk. We still have the opportunity now to stop harmful development, stop the firing range complex, stop the military buildup before, you know, we're in the position that, that Hawaii is in. And, and it's a real, real threat. For Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matanani.